Antarctica, the frozen continent at the southernmost tip of our planet, holds more than just ice and penguins. Beneath its icy surface, explorers have made unsettling discoveries that challenge our understanding of the world. From strange underground lakes to mysterious ancient anomalies, these findings unveil a hidden world of remarkable secrets. Join me for today's video. We're going to embark on an expedition to explore the top 15 most unsettling discoveries in Antarctica. Let's begin with number 15, the Endurance. The Endurance is perhaps one of the most famous shipwrecks in history. It was the ship used in the ill-fated Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition, led by Sir Ernest Shackleton, which aimed to cross the entire continent of Antarctica from one side to the other. The ship was named after Shackleton's family motto, By Endurance We Conquer. In 1914, the Endurance set sail from South Georgia Island, heading for the Weddell Sea on the eastern side of the Antarctic continent. However, the ship became trapped in the ice of the Weddell Sea in January of 1915, long before the expedition could even begin. For months, the crew tried to free the ship from the cold grip of the ice, but their efforts were in vain. The relentless pressure of the ice eventually crushed and sank the Endurance. Despite the loss of their ship, Shackleton and his crew managed to survive on the drifting ice flows for several months, eventually reaching Elephant Island. From there, Shackleton and a small group of men set out on a lifeboat to seek help, leading to a remarkable rescue mission and the ultimate survival of the entire crew. The discovery of the wreckage of the Endurance became a significant news story in March of 2022. The ship had remained hidden beneath ice for over a century. In February 2021, an expedition located the sunken vessel at a depth of approximately 10,000 feet in the Weddell Sea. Although the ship was not in its original form, it was remarkably well preserved, providing valuable insights to the conditions and materials used in polar exploration during the early 20th. This discovery reignited interest in the story of Shackleton's ill-fated expedition and the incredible feats of endurance and survival by the crew. Number 14. Strange Bacterium Beneath the icy desolation of Antarctica, a mind-boggling discovery has unveiled a new kind of life, bacteria that can thrive solely on the compounds present in the atmosphere. This revelation is nothing short of groundbreaking and has the potential to reshape our understanding of life's possibilities on other planets. These remarkable microbes, uncovered by scientists from the University of New South Wales in Australia, are capable of sustaining themselves in even the harshest of conditions. In Antarctica, where resources and energy sources are scarce, these bacteria feed off hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. They can endure the frigid temperatures, severe drought, months of darkness, relentless ultraviolet radiation, and the wear and tear of freeze-thaw cycles. The presence of life in such a foreboding environment raises intriguing questions. How do these organisms survive without traditional energy sources, like photosynthesis turning carbon into sugar? To unlock this mystery, researchers collected soil samples from Robinson's Ridge and Adams Flat, two ice-free regions chosen precisely because conventional microbial food sources are practically non-existent. Through in-depth genomic analysis, scientists reconstructed the genetic blueprints of 23 microbes found in the soil, leading to the discovery of two previously unknown bacterial groups, WPS2 and AD3. Now, what truly astonished researchers was the high affinity of the dominant species for hydrogen and carbon monoxide, allowing them to extract these gases from the air at a rate sufficient to sustain life. These microbes appear to thrive in an environment devoid of the usual requisites, such as sunlight, geothermal energy, and nutrients. It is an unprecedented revelation, an air-eating life form, albeit a one that remains largely dormant. Number 13. Ghost Mountains Now, when we think of mountains, we think of peaks reaching high into the sky in the distance. Mountain ranges often serve as the backdrop for many fantastic locations and destinations, and the most adventurous of humans will even brave the perilous crags for the sake of science, research, and adrenaline. Beneath the ice of Antarctica is a jagged mountain range reminiscent of the European Alps entombed beneath the ice. This revelation hints at the astonishingly rapid formation of the colossal ice sheet, challenging previous assumptions and stoking concerns about the far-reaching consequences of global warming on sea levels. Scientists equipped with radar and gravity sensors embarked on an unprecedented mapping expedition of the Gambertsev subglacial mountains. 
The prevailing expectation was to encounter a relatively flat plateau. Instead, what they unveiled was a landscape adorned with peaks and valleys, echoing the grandeur of the European Alps. Fausto Ferricicoli, a geophysicist from the British Antarctic Survey, remarked that the presence of these jagged peaks, untouched by the erosive hand of time, suggested that the ice sheet had formed rapidly, entombing the rugged terrain beneath up to two and a half miles of ice. This revelation marks the inaugural page of a new chapter in comprehending the behavior of ice sheets. Now, geologically speaking, mountain ranges like the Alps and the Himalayas take shape through continent collisions. Antarctica's last encounter with such forces transpired around a half a billion years ago. The mystery that captivates researchers is that while the Alps are relatively youthful 50 to 60 million years old, the Gimbertsef mountain range may harbor an ancient history dating back as far as 500 million years. Number 12. The Doomsday Glacier Antarctica's Thwaites Glacier, often ominously referred to as the Doomsday Glacier, is a colossal mass of ice located in the western part of the continent. It's garnered international attention due to its potential to drive significant sea level rise, leading some to speculate about its apocalyptic impact on the planet. Thwaites Glacier is vast, stretching across about 75 miles at its broadest point. Now, what sets it apart is its rapid ice flow and its role as a cork holding back a considerable portion of the West Antarctic ice sheet. If Thwaites Glacier were to significantly recede or collapse, it could trigger a cascading effect, causing neighboring glaciers to flow into the ocean and raise global sea levels. The ominous moniker Doomsday Glacier it reflects the profound concerns surrounding Thwaites. While the precise time frame and extent of potential sea level rise remains uncertain, scientists are keenly aware of the glacier's vulnerability. Warm ocean waters have been eroding its floating ice shelf from below, causing its ground line, the point where the glacier meets the sea, to retreat. Thwaites Glacier is a critical component of the Antarctic environment, and its behavior holds significant implications for coastal regions worldwide. While it's not necessarily the sole harbinger of a doomsday scenario, it serves as a reminder of the consequences of climate change. Predicting its behavior is a daunting challenge, and ongoing research seeks to unravel the intricate processes governing the glacier's fate. Number 11. The Giant Pyramid The Great Pyramid in Antarctica, an odd and controversial discovery that's perplexed scientists and conspiracy theorists alike, it stands as one of the most enduring mysteries in recent years. This colossal structure, seemingly buried beneath the ice of Antarctica, challenges our understanding of the continent's geological history, and it raises questions about the possible ancient civilizations that could have inhabited the region. The discovery of the alleged pyramid was made through satellite imagery in 2009, and it sparked widespread curiosity and debate. This massive formation appears to resemble a pyramid with four distinct triangular sides, closely mirroring the iconic pyramids of Egypt. The symmetry and size of the structure are striking, leading some to speculate that it could not possibly be a natural formation. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Antarctic Pyramid is its location. Now, Antarctic is known for its harsh climate and uninhabited wilderness, making it an unlikely place for such a monumental construction. The pyramid's presence challenges our understanding of the continent's history, as it does suggest the possibility of a lost civilization that thrived in Antarctica long before it became the frozen wasteland we now know. Theories about the Antarctic Pyramid abound. Some believe it could be an evidence of an ancient civilization with advanced technology, while others suggest it may have extraterrestrial origins. Skeptics, on the other hand, argue that the pyramid-like shape could be the result of natural processes or an optical illusion caused by the play of light and shadows in the satellite image. But even if it is one big hoax, it is a lot of fun to think about a pyramid in the cold reaches of Antarctica. Number 10. South Sandwich Trench The South Sandwich Trench is a deep oceanic trench situated in the remote reaches of the South Atlantic Ocean, near the South Sandwich Islands. Its discovery and ongoing exploration have unveiled a realm of geological mystery that continues to baffle scientists. The trench's existence wasn't confirmed until the late 20th century, with the first seismic survey to identify the trench's full extent taking place in the 1980s. Its geological characteristics and oceanic significance have only gradually emerged, adding to the shock factor surrounding this wonder. 
The trench's primary feature is its position as a convergent plate boundary, where the South American plate subducts beneath the South Sandwich plate. Now, this subduction process happens when one tectonic plate is thrust beneath another. Now, such regions often feature geological instability, powerful earthquakes, and volcanic activity, making the trench and its surroundings a site of intense scientific interest and ongoing exploration. What sets the South Sandwich Trench apart is its remote and challenging location. Hidden in the midst of the South Atlantic Ocean, it is subject to harsh weather, frigid temps, and rough seas, making it a challenging area for scientific research and discovery. The trench's depth and proximity to the South Sandwich Islands, a remote volcanic archipelago, create an environment that's remained relatively unexplored. So the only question is, what sort of ancient creatures, large or small, live beneath the icy surface? Number 9. Ancient DNA Deep, deep under the ice is an ancient genetic treasure trove, shrouded in an unsettling mystery slowly being uncovered by the scientific community. These genetic samples, known as sedimentary ancient DNA or SETA DNA, have cast aside the veils of time, dating back roughly a million years, making them the oldest seafloor sediments ever discovered. The journey to this discovery began in 2019 during a survey led by the International Ocean Discovery Program in the Scotia Sea, north of mainland Antarctica. Scientists, in their quest for knowledge, ventured deep beneath the frigid waters, unwittingly unearthing these extraordinary genetic relics. In a recent study published in the journal Nature Communications, researchers meticulously analyzed the set of DNA samples for the first time. To decipher the age of these genetic fragments, the team scrutinized the patterns of damage etched into the DNA strands. Astonishingly, they revealed that the oldest fragments had weathered the relentless passage of time for a million years. This surpasses the prior record held by set of DNA locked within Arctic permafrost, which dates back approximately 650,000 years ago. Linda Armbrecht, lead author of the study, marveled at this revelation. These fragments, she explained, are the most ancient authenticated marine set of DNA ever uncovered. Their remarkably pristine preservation is attributed to the icy seafloor's extreme conditions, sub-zero temps, minimal oxygen, and an absence of the withering touch of UV radiation. The true identity of most of the ancient set of DNA remains a mystery, although it undoubtedly belongs to a eukaryote, which encompasses animals, plants, and fungi, rather than a bacteria or virus. A significant portion of the samples, however, is dominated by diatoms, a type of photoplankton that continues to thrive in today's oceans and underpins many marine food webs. What makes this genetic revelation all the more intriguing is the window it provides into Earth's climatic history. The set of DNA record from the Scotia Sea suggests proliferations of diatoms approximately 540,000 years ago, coinciding with a natural warming phase on our planet. This period saw increased ice loss from Antarctica's ice sheet and rising ocean temperatures, which likely fueled a rapid surge in diatom growth and reproduction. Number 8. Underground River Underwater rivers or subaqueous rivers are hidden water currents flowing beneath the surface of the sea or within submerged caves. These phenomena, driven by variations in salinity and temperature, create unique ecosystems and can transport sediments over vast distances, impacting ocean dynamics. They remain a captivating aspect of Earth's hidden natural wonders. Now, while they may not be terribly common, scientists and divers are no stranger to them. But finding one in Antarctica is a whole other story. This specific subglacial watercourse in Antarctica, though, is a complete enigma of nature, dwarfing even the mighty Thames. This river beneath the ice stretches over 285 miles and drains into the Weddell Sea. The river's existence was unveiled through the use of ice-penetrating radar, carried aloft by aircraft on a series of aerial surveys. Now, what sets this discovery apart is the revelation that beneath the seemingly impenetrable ice, a complex river system thrives, intertwined and interconnected, as if thousands of meters of ice didn't shield them from the world above. As we navigate this subterranean labyrinth, a chilling realization dawns. The river's catchment area is vast, equivalent in size to France and Germany combined, and its presence raises questions of potential global significance. 
The river flows beneath four immense ice masses, the Institute Ice Stream, the Molar Ice Stream, Support Force Glacier, and the Foundation Ice Stream slash Academy Glacier. As these borders retreat, the river emerges from beneath the ice shelf into the Weddell Sea. This under ice river has the capacity to shape the planet's future in profound ways. If this hidden realm were to melt, it could contribute to a staggering 14-foot rise in global sea levels. While such a transformation wouldn't transpire overnight, it introduces a dimension of uncertainty as our world grapples with the consequences of a warming climate. Moving on to number seven, impossible phytoplankton blooms. On the surface, Antarctica is cold. Those brutal temperatures made only worse by the wind make it seem impossible for anything to survive, let alone thrive in the harsh climate. But don't tell that to the population of microscopic organisms known as phytoplankton here. Phytoplankton, minuscule photosynthetic life forms, are known for their diverse array of shapes and sizes. Typically, they thrive near the ocean surface, where they harness sunlight to fuel their existence and occasionally form vast, sprawling blooms that can span hundreds of square miles when conditions permit. This icy revelation arrives courtesy of scientists led by Christopher Horvat, a physicist at the University of Auckland and a visiting assistant professor at Brown University. Their groundbreaking discovery defies prior assumptions that the harsh under-ice environments of Antarctica stifle the prospects of upper ocean photosynthesis. The quest for these subglacial Antarctic blooms began after similar observations beneath the Arctic sea ice, ascribed partly to human-induced climate change, piqued scientific curiosity. The researchers pondered whether the Southern Ocean, adjacent to Antarctica, might possess the essential qualities to support photosynthesis beneath the sea ice. Intriguingly, submersible instruments, the BCG Argo floats, embarked on 2,197 dives beneath Antarctica's ice, collecting samples from 2014 to 2021. These samples underwent scrutiny for a particular pigment shared by all phytoplankton, a tangible marker of life. Simultaneously, climate models offered insights into the quantity of sunlight penetrating the dense ice compared to its Arctic counterpart, revealing hidden pockets of blooms within the Southern Ocean. The results astoundingly showed that business is booming, with nearly 88% of these measurements indicating a surge in phytoplankton biomass before the seasonal retreat of the sea ice. The existence of something like this raises the question about the potential for life to emerge in similar settings on other celestial bodies. Moons like Europa and Enceladus, with subsurface oceans beneath icy shells, beckon in the quest for extraterrestrial life. Number 6. Ancient Fires In the heart of Antarctica, paleontologists unearthed something truly mind-blowing. Though it's now characterized by ice-cold desolation, Antarctica was not always this way. A 2023 study led by Brazilian paleobotanist Dr. Joseline Manfroy, in collaboration with other scientists, sheds light on some literal fiery secrets of the land, indicating that 75 million years ago, Antarctica was ablaze. During the Cretaceous period, the continent experienced frequent forest fires driven by active volcanic eruptions. The research, based on paleontological samples collected on King George Island in the Shetland Islands archipelago, challenges prior notions about Antarctica's historical climate. It was conducted during scientific expeditions by the Chilean Antarctic Institute and the Brazilian Antarctic Program. This isn't the first time evidence of forest fires in Antarctica has emerged, though. Dr. Joseline previously reported such evidence in a 2015 study. However, the latest research delves deeper into the topic, revealing that the occurrence of forest fires was not sporadic, but rather frequent during the Cretaceous period. These fires were intrinsically linked to the active volcanism of that era. The fiery study only underscores the importance of understanding past environments and their disturbance agents, such as fires, to comprehend the Earth's environmental evolution and dynamics. Antarctica, often deemed as an extreme and hostile environment due to its severe climate conditions, is an intriguing object of study due to its ability to preserve its environmental characteristics, offering a unique window into Earth's geological past. Despite its present isolation in the Southern Hemisphere, Antarctica has not always occupied this location. Over multiple eras of Earth, it shifted and morphed due to tectonic movements occupying different positions on the planet. These shifts have significantly altered the southern environments, transforming them from lush forests into an icy expanse we see today. 
Number five, the South Pole Hole. As if ripped from a certain John Carpenter film, a recurring mystery has intrigued scientists for decades, the sudden appearance of enormous holes in the ice. These holes, known as polynias, can span thousands upon thousands of square miles and seem to defy the expectations of seasonal ice formations. This phenomenon was first observed in the early 1970s when satellites captured images of a mysterious hole in the La Rezev Sea, only for it to vanish by summer. However, the most striking event happened in 2018 during the continent's coldest winter months, when the ice should be at its thickest. A massive, almost 3,700 square mile hole suddenly appeared in the same ice pack. Over the course of two months, it grew by a staggering 740% before retreating once again with the arrival of summer. What on earth is going on here? Well, the mystery of these polynias have left scientists baffled until now. Researchers from New York University Abu Dhabi believe they've cracked this mystery. Using satellite observations and reanalysis data, they discovered that these transient holes are the likely result of cyclonic storms. In September of 2017, as warm and cold air masses collided at the South Pole, cyclonic winds reaching speeds of up to 72 miles an hour and whipping up waves as high as 52 feet pushed the Antarctic ice pack in various directions, creating these gaps. While the sight of these enormous punctures in the ice may appear dramatic, they serve crucial ecological functions. Polynias act as a gateway between the ocean and the sky, providing pathways for wildlife like seals and penguins, even offering a habitat for phytoplankton. These openings can influence the atmosphere and potentially serve as climate change indicators. It's the connection between polynias and cyclones that really raises concerns about the impact of climate change. As the planet warms, it's expected that cyclone activity around Earth's poles will intensify. Under these conditions, more intense cyclones could lead to more frequent polynias events, potentially disrupting climate models and influencing a wider range of atmospheric and oceanic processes. Number 4. The Ring of Ice and Fire in 2017, researchers from Edinburgh University uncovered a trove of almost 100 hidden volcanoes concealed two kilometers beneath the icy surface. Some of these volcanic peaks rival the height of Switzerland's Eiger, reaching nearly 4,000 meters. This remarkable revelation suggests that West Antarctica harbors a more extensive volcanic range than the better-known volcanic ridges of East Africa. While these volcanoes have remained dormant for millennia, they could have unsettling consequences for the region. The researchers warn that an eruption could destabilize West Antarctica's already fragile ice sheets, exacerbating the flow of ice into the sea and accelerating rising sea levels. The study stemmed from an idea sparked by a young undergraduate at Edinburgh University, Max van Wichtevrijs. Researchers employed ice-penetrating radars to scan beneath the ice, revealing concealing peaks of basalt rock similar to the ice-free volcanoes observed by polar explorers over the last century. The resulting discovery of 91 previously unknown volcanoes nearly tripled the number of known volcanoes in West Antarctica. These ice-covered peaks range from 100 to 3,800 meters in height, concentrated within a 3,500-kilometer stretch called the West Antarctic Rift System. Bingham, one of the study's authors, was astounded by the findings and suspects that more underwater volcanoes may lie beneath the Ross Ice Shelf. The implications of these newly discovered volcanoes extend beyond Antarctica. Their activity could have worldwide consequences. Eruptions might further destabilize the region's ice sheets, contributing to a rising sea level as meltwater flows into the ocean. While researchers acknowledge the uncertain history of these volcanoes' activity, they point to alarming trends. They noted the most volcanism in the world today happens in regions recently freed from glacial coverage, following the last ice age. Iceland and Alaska, both of which saw extensive ice loss, have experienced heightened volcanic activity. West Antarctica, where warming from climate change has already affected its ice sheets, may follow this pattern. Reduced ice cover could release pressure on the dormant volcanoes, leading to eruptions that further disrupt the ice sheets and enhance sea level rise. Number 3. The Piri Reis Map Hidden within the annals of history lies a map that defies conventional understanding, the enigmatic Piri Reis Map. Crafted in 1513 by the renowned Ottoman Admiral Piri Reis, this cartographic marvel bewildered scholars with its startling accuracy, predating official discovery of the Americas. 
Yet what truly set this map apart was its inclusion of the mysterious continent of Antarctica, free from the icy shroud that currently veils it. Discovered within the hollowed walls of Istanbul's Tokapi Palace in 1929, the map sent shockwaves through the scholarly community. How could Piri Reis have depicted the intricate details of coastlines, islands, and mountain ranges with such precision in an era when cartographic knowledge was in its infancy? The depiction of Antarctica, unencumbered by its modern glacial cover, fueled a frenzy of speculation about ancient advanced civilizations or the possibility of lost realms with unparalleled cartographic prowess. Could they have known something that we don't? Theories about the origins of the map vary wildly. Some speculated that it was based on the knowledge of a lost civilization, while others suggested extraterrestrial intervention or even time travel. However, more conventional theories argued that Piri Reis might have relied on earlier maps, some of which might have been lost over time. Yet skeptics countered these claims, questioning the authenticity of the map's depiction of Antarctica and casting doubt on the sources that might have informed Piri Reis's remarkable cartographic feat. In the end, while the Piri Reis map remains a fascinating enigma, its impact has led to further exploration of ancient cartography and its ties to historical civilizations. The unsettling and curious nature of the map continues to captivate scholars and enthusiasts, inspiring a sense of wonder and speculation about the mysteries of the past and the possibility of undiscovered ancient knowledge. Number 2. The Bleeding Glacier As we've already seen, Antarctica is home to some pretty strange findings, but one of the strangest natural features is the Blood Falls. Oozing from the frozen Taylor Glacier in the McMurdo Dry Valleys, this eerie crimson cascade has intrigued just about everybody since its discovery in 1911 by the Australian geologist Griffith Taylor. Despite its name, the Blood Falls doesn't flow with blood but with iron-rich hypersaline water, creating a mesmerizing scarlet stream that contrasts starkly with the pristine whiteness of the glacier. The origin of this phenomenon can be traced back to a subglacial lake located deep beneath the glacier, which has remained isolated from the outside world for millions of years. The water within this reservoir is teeming with a high concentration of salt and iron, a potent mix that catalyzes a unique chemical reaction, lending the outflow its distinct crimson hue. The coloration of the water is a result of the oxidation of iron as it comes into contact with the air, transforming the iron-rich waters into a rusty red hue akin to the sight of blood. The briny waters with their high salt content prevent the freezing of the subglacial lake, allowing the iron-laden fluid to seep through microscopic fissures in the glacier and emerge at the surface as the haunting blood falls. Investigations into it have uncovered a thriving microbial community within the hypersaline water, challenging conventional notions about the limits of life and offering a tantalizing glimpse into the potential for life in extreme environments. The microbes dwelling in this frigid and iron-rich environment have evolved unique adaptations to thrive under such conditions, providing a valuable insight into the resilience of life in the face of extreme challenges. Number 1. The Twenty-Armed Beast from 20,000 Fathoms In the depths of the Southern Ocean near Antarctica, scientists stumbled upon a bizarre creature that seems plucked from the pages of science fiction, with its eerie resemblance to a familiar fruit. Dubbed the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star, this newfound species boasts a striking allure that belies its otherworldly appearance. Unveiled in a recent publication by the University of California, San Diego, the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star has raised eyebrows and piqued curiosity for its uncanny resemblance to its namesake fruit. With its 20 appendages ranging from bumpy to feathery, this creature spans up to 8 inches in length, making it a compelling subject for marine biologists like Greg Rouse, who authored the study. Although it might not immediately evoke thoughts of strawberries, a closer examination of the tiny nub atop its multi-pronged arms indeed reveals an intriguing similarity to the fruit. The researchers explain how the circular bumps on the creature's body, resembling the strawberry's shape, are the attachment points of its cirri. These specialized features akin to tiny claws enable the Antarctic strawberry feather star to grip the ocean floor and navigate its watery domain with delicate precision. Within the family of Crinoidea, which encompasses various marine organisms such as starfish and sea urchins, the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star stands out as an exceptional addition. 
Previously, only one species fell under the Antarctic feather star group, but thorough, rigorous exploration and sampling in the Southern Ocean, the team unveiled four additional species, including the odd alien-like creature. This astonishing discovery has expanded the Antarctic feather star category, breathing new life into a previously singular entity. With the revelation of eight distinct species, the scientific community now marvels at the diversity thriving beneath the icy waves, highlighting the potential for further revelations in the uncharted depths of the Southern Ocean. I'll see you guys next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos. Thank you to our channel members.